puff bag. Oh, it's very hot in the garden today. Oh, oh, that's given me an idea. It's given me an idea of what the loo to make next. I think that I should make something that uses fans. It uses a part of their body to keep themselves cool. Can you guess what it might be? Let's take our first thing that we need, which is our balloons. Let's do this animal in pink. Lovely. So we take a pink balloon and we take our a puff, a puff, a puff, a puff, and we place the balloon onto the cup and we pull back and puff, a puff, a puff, a puff, a puff, a puff, and we need about this much at the end of this balloon. Maybe a little bit. Less bit of air out. Oh, pardon me. Tie it in a knot. Oh, that's the hard bit. Ow. <laughs> and we're going to start right here. This is the tail. And then we make another twist for the leg. And another twist for the other leg. Three bubbles like this, and we put them two together and twist those around. One, two. The next bit, we do a small bubble like that, and then we do another bubble like that, and then we twist it up, tie those together like that. Oh, it's got a very long neck, but what we need is very big ears because this animal uses their ears to keep cool, like a fan. So that's one twist, and then we then make another twist, like so. It's got two big ears and a very long nose. That's right, it's an elephant. I'm going to draw a face on this one, elephant. So we take our pen. We're going to do two eyes. <laughs> Love that one. <laughs> and we're going to do a little nose. And a lovely smile. <laughs> There's our elephant. Oh. Now, I've got a joke about an elephant. Uh, what time is it when an elephant sits on a gate? It's time to get a new gate. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well I hope you stay cool, Mr. Elephant. Oh, I know that I need to keep cool. Oh. Oh. See you later, everybody. See you next time. Bye. So here it is one more time. Place the balloon on the pump and pump it up. Let a bit of air out and tie it in a knot. Then you make one small bubble for the tail, another small bubble for the back legs, and then another bubble for the second leg. And give them a twist. Then you make a small body, and a bubble for the front leg, and another bubble for the other front leg. And then you make a loop, a petal for the ear, and then another petal the same size for the second ear. And there you have your elephant. Curl up his trunk. And there he is. Ta-da!